Oh boy, I'm not even sure I remember how to do this. It has been quite some time since my last upload. Um, I think it's been around eight or nine months now. Um, I do apologize for that, but this summer I am hoping to get a little bit more into it again and kind of upload a little bit more consistent. I really just kind of fell off on having upload ideas and basically just motivation. I'm just gonna be completely honest. But in today's video, as you can see, since my last upload, I have got a haircut. I actually got this cut uh, around a week ago or so, maybe like five or six days. Um, so it's grown in a little bit, but just for dimensions, just right off the hop here, I had a skin fade up to about a, I'd say this is about like a three kind of in the corners here. Uh, same thing in the back, it does drop a little bit lower. So it's skin fade down low. And then right around the occipital bone here, it's about a number three guard. And then at the top, I have about an inch to an inch and a half in length. And uh, today I am going to basically just show you guys my uh, daily hairstyle. I have two hairstyles to show you guys, this being one of them, and then another being a little bit more of like a messy quiff. Um, basically just super easy hairstyles for summer, just super casual. You don't really have to care about them too much. They're super messy and casual. So as a day-to-day -day basis, you don't really have to put too much thought into them. Just kind of mess it up, scrunch up your hair, and you are good to go. So with the hair dimensions out of the way, I want to just quickly go over the hair products that I'm using for the pre-styler. I'm using just Tresemme's hairspray, uh, just a heat protectant hairspray. Pretty decent product. You get it for like seven or eight bucks at any sort of drugstore, grocery store, that sort of thing. And then for my actual styling product, my post-styling product, I'm going with Shibu's Ocean Clay. Uh, you guys know this has been one of my favorite products ever. I've pretty much been using it for, I'd say around three or four years straight now. And like I said before, they are very casual hairstyles. You really don't have to worry about them being too clean. You're basically just gonna toss a little bit of product in there and you're good to go. So with that being said, let's get on with hairstyle number one. So typically with any hairstyle, you wanna start with a clean blank canvas. That being said, we're gonna start with clean washed hair. And from your hair being wet, you just want to towel dry it a little bit just to get all that excess water out. You don't want it to be too dry, but you also don't want it to be sopping wet. And then from here, we're going to do a couple sprays of the Tresemme Heat Protectant. Uh, again, this is basically just going to be our pre-styling product so that the hair dryer doesn't damage our hair at all. And I'm going to do about four to five sprays of the hairspray. And from here, we begin blow drying our hair. And I'm basically just going to keep blow drying all of my hair from the back forward because this is the fringe hairstyle. I want all my hair to be laying forward. The odd time I will go back and blow dry it up in the front just to give it a little bit more lift and texture. For the majority of the blow drying process, we're going to be going from back to front. And when I'm blow drying it, I'm basically just taking my hand and scrunching up the hair. And what this is doing, it's adding a little bit more lift and texture to the hair. And it's also going to allow your hair to dry in multiple directions. And then once you're done, I mean, honestly, you are left with a lot of texture in your hair. And if you want, you can stop here and you don't even have to add product. But personally, for me, I like that little bit of hold and also the product adds a little bit more texture and separation in the hair. So like I said, I'm going to add a little bit of Chavu's Ocean Clay and I'm really not adding too much. I'm gonna take a small, small scoop and if I need, I'm just gonna add more product after. Once the product is completely massaged into your hands, you wanna start running it through your hair and the way that I'm doing it normally is going to be kind of like a clawing motion from the back corner of my head, basically across to the opposite corner at the front, if that makes sense. Um, what this is gonna do, it's going to add a little bit more texture in the hair again, and just give a little bit more separation and force that hair to direct in the opposite direction that it dried in. And at this point, it's basically up to you to decide when is enough. Uh, there really isn't sort of like a baseline for this hairstyle being good. Um, like I said, you can do it with no product, you can do it with a ton of product, you can do it with barely any product like myself, but there really isn't like a perfect point where your hair is good. Because it is such a messy hairstyle, you really don't have to be too particular about how it looks. And once I've done a little bit of adjusting, it's probably taking me about a minute or two to get to this point just because I'm kind of picky. Uh, this is the final product and I'll give you guys a little bit of a view of it. So that is hairstyle number one. Let's get on to hairstyle number two, which is basically just a continuation of the first. So from where we left off on the first hairstyle, I'm basically just gonna use that as my foundation and add a little bit more product and kind of just run it through my hairs again in the same fashion, but I also wanna hit the front of my hair. From styling it the first way, there really isn't any product under the underside of my fringe. 
So once I get the product up, it's gonna make my hair at the front stand up a little bit nicer. And to build some texture into this hairstyle, I'm gonna do a little bit more scrunching and a little bit more twisting as opposed to the clawing motion, as you can see. I'm taking bits of hair and kind of twisting it with my fingertips. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna add that thicker separation through the hair. And I'm basically just going to continue this twisting and scrunching motion for another minute or two until I'm satisfied. And that is going to be the final look of the second hairstyle. So here is the 360 view of this one as well. Let me know which one you guys like better down below in the comments. Um, again, I do apologize for the little hiatus that I've taken, but like I said, I do hope to be back a little bit more frequent this summer. Let me know what sort of videos you guys wanna see because that's one thing that I definitely lacked with uploading prior to this one. It's just that idea for the next video. Do you guys like hairstyle videos? Do you like fashion videos? Definitely let me know which ones you would rather see down below in the comments. I will be reading all the comments of this video. And also, again, let me know which hairstyle you like better. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a like if you did subscribe if you are new and you enjoyed today's video I do hope to be getting back into uploading a little bit more um, I will have my Instagram linked in the top of the description down below if you guys want to go check that out uh, Just a heads up. It is more fashion based not really clothing wait Not really hairstyling I should say uh, Definitely more fashion oriented, but that will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Oh, hello. I Just got this big girl, too. Oh look at her. She's so cute. And that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. Again, leave a like if you enjoyed. If you are new and you enjoy hairstyling and fashion, definitely consider subscribing because we are going to be uploading again more frequently this summer. And with all that being said, I hope to see you guys very soon.